Hello, my name is Anthony, and I'm currently a freshman at Stanford studying computer science. In this lesson video, I'll discuss the college application process specifically for people interested in applying to music schools or creating arts portfolios. So to begin, just a little bit of background about myself. As my main extracurricular in high school, I did music, so I decided to highlight that in my applications by creating a music portfolio to supplement it. I also applied to several music schools for the music degree or dual degree programs with music and engineering because I knew I wanted to do CS. Some of these schools include CMU, University of Michigan, and Northwestern. So essentially when I was applying to schools, my strategy was to apply to dual degree music schools because my music was much stronger than my CS. So I decided that my music would help carry me into these programs. So essentially for music, when you're applying to music schools or preparing music portfolios, each school has their own restrictions and their own guidelines. Therefore, I recommend that you start researching and making a Google Doc of every school you want to apply to and their specific music requirements. So for example, for Stanford, their requirement was pretty simple because it's not really a music school. They asked for an arts portfolio and for arts portfolios, the requirements are generally more easier, I guess, than the music schools, which have more rigorous requirements. So for Stanford specifically, the requirement was basically just send in 10 minutes video worth of performance or music performance with, um, and for my year is COVID, so it was just solo instrumental, but sometimes they might even have accompanists, so make sure you prepare that as well. So that's the Stanford Arts Portfolio, and many other schools such as Harvard or other private schools also um, allow you to send in arts portfolios like, like this, and typically they range around 10 to 15 minutes of video performance for you to submit. And this is also very similar to arts, not just music. So for arts, basically you send in like a digital portfolio of your arts, um, but you can look into that more on your own in the school's websites. So we talked about preparing arts portfolios for specific schools like Stanford. Now I'll touch on a little bit about applying to music schools and those um, guidelines. So for music schools, it's a lot more rigorous. For example, when I applied to U Michigan or Northwestern, they also required me to prepare a spoken introduction of myself, as well as like scales and etudes and even more pieces. So I had to record a lot. Because of that, if you are planning to submit a portfolio to music schools or to private schools, I recommend you start super early or perhaps even record in the summer like some of my friends did because it gets you a big head start on everything. Another reason for you to start early is because the deadline for music schools or people who submit music applications or music portfolios is a lot earlier than regular decision. So for example, for me, I applied to Stanford early action and the early action deadline for most schools like Stanford are November 1st. But for music portfolio applicants or people who want to submit an arts portfolio, the deadline is much earlier. I think it's like one or two weeks earlier in October. And this is good actually because it forces you to be on top of stuff, but also it means that you must start preparing very early. So yeah, when you're applying to music schools or to schools that require an arts portfolio or allow you to submit one, each school's requirements are different. So make sure you very carefully review and take notes on it and write down like a list of music and etudes and scales that you want to prepare for each school. That way, when you're actually recording, you can tackle them at the same time and to reduce the amount of time you have to spend recording. Another huge tip that I have is that over the summer before senior year, before you apply to colleges and you know you want to do some music in college or maybe not even music major, just you want to play music, I strongly recommend that you email the music professor that you know will be teaching your instrument. For example, if you play flute, go ahead and send an email to the flute professor at school, or you play clarinet, send an email to the clarinet teacher at X school, and try to set up a trial lesson with them. This is a very standard practice with musicians who want to continue music in, in college. So make sure this is a very good tip if you want to get to know the professor better, because the, ultimately they'll probably be the ones who are listening to your audition or portfolio and also that way you know what the teaching style is like and if you really want to learn from them in the future. So I told you to start early and how to prepare your music and do your research. So I'll talk about a little bit about my own personal experience applying to music schools and preparing music for arts portfolios or my auditions. So essentially I started research around September or August, more like August. I started my research in August and I prepared this huge Google Doc with each individual school. And under each school, I had a bunch of bullet points about what the school's requirements are. For example, some schools only want 10 minutes of music, like Stanford. Some schools want 15 to 20 minutes, like maybe for music auditions, like New Michigan or Northwestern, which are two of the top saxophone studios, so it's a lot more rigorous. And essentially the process for music schools is that once you submit a pre-screening recording, which is very similar to an arts portfolio, they submit to like Stanford, once you submit that, the professor will review it, and only if you pass the pre-screening will you be invited to do a live audition. 
And for the live audition, normal years, you would actually travel to Northwestern or to U Michigan or to whatever school you got invited to and audition with the professor there in person live, which is kind of a stressful, but it really lets you get to know the professor in person and it's really good. And for me, because of COVID, the auditions were online and virtual, but I actually didn't end up accepting any of the audition invites I got because I already had gotten to Stanford and I knew I wanted to go to Stanford. So yeah, after I did my research and picked out the music I want to play, I asked a lot of my mentors and teachers that I met throughout high school to guide me and give me advice on what pieces I should play for my saxophone audition. And once I had all of that listed out, I pre began preparing it. Obviously, I was already preparing some of these pieces since January of the same year. It's really good to have pieces that you have already under your fingers. And then beginning October through November, I began recording and thankfully my school band director allowed me to come into the school and use one of the performance or rehearsal halls to record my recordings. And it took me a long time. I came in basically five days a week and recorded for two hours every day of my senior year um, throughout October, November, and some of December. And I ended up getting recordings that I was really proud of. And obviously they turned out pretty well because I got to Stanford. I got past pre-screen for Northwestern, U Michigan, CMU, basically all the places I applied to. So. It worked out well, but it was very grueling and a very long process. Now I want to talk about a little bit about how you submit these music portfolios and how you actually send them in. So as many of you may know, the common application is where you submit most of your college applications themselves, like the transcripts, the essays, your grades, your honors, your worth, everything, extracurriculars, all of that, the typical stuff. But for music portfolios and when you want to submit your music videos, you don't submit it through the common application. And it actually differs through each school what you submit it in. Like for example, for Harvard, they submit through something called Slide Room or Slide Show, I think something like that. And then for Stanford, you submit through their own Stanford Arts Portfolio website and it's very specific. So that's why I also recommend you submit your applications early when you want to submit to music schools or submit a music portfolio because it takes a while, it might confuse you when you're submitting your videos themselves onto the respective portals of each school. For example, for me, when I was applying to Stanford, I had a little bit of trouble submitting my videos onto the Stanford music portal, and I had to email the Stanford um, music people to help me out. And eventually we figured it out and it was all fine, but I was glad that I submitted a bit early to work out all the kinks and figure out and make sure that my application was received successfully. Another few tips that I wanna tell you about because I only found that out when I was doing my application, but one thing is that you don't have to record all your videos or all your pieces in one take. You can record each piece separately and then put them together into one video, or you can just submit them separately as separate videos. That's completely fine. Another thing I want to mention is that like me, if you are thinking about applying to dual degree programs, there are actually some very interesting ones for different schools. For example, the one I applied to CMU for is called the BCSA program, which stands for Bachelor's of Computer Science and Arts. Essentially, it's one bachelor's degree where you study both arts or music and computer science. So you get the best of both worlds at CMU, the School of Computer Science and the School of Arts there, which I really love. I actually really love this program. And special story about when I applied to CMU, I actually submitted my audition. And two days later, the saxophone professor at CMU emailed me telling me that he really wanted me there. So my saxophone basically got me to CMU within two days of me submitting my application. And unfortunately, I had to turn him down for Stanford, but it was really nice to see somebody who really wanted me there at their school. And honestly, I would have been so happy going to CMU and doing the BCSA program there. I That program just sounds perfect for me, who is like a lover of both CS and music. So yeah, like in that case, I feel like if you are really strong at music or, or art or anything in that sense, and you want to show colleges more about who you are and prove to them um, that what you talked about in your extracurriculars or your essays is true, I really recommend you submit or prepare something, prepare a music audition, a video to send into college just to let them see. The only reason that they'll knock you down if you submit a music audition or a vi music video is if you're considered a waste of time for them to listen to you. But in the most common case, it's just if you aren't good enough or like, like super good, it, they'll just be like, okay, cool. They can actually play their instrument. They're actually competent. But it, and then the other level is if you're super good, they might be like, oh my God, we really want this person in our music program. They, we really want them to play with us here at X school. And the only chance of them thinking of your music portfolio being a bad thing to your application is if it's super bad. So just spend a bit of time on it. Make sure it's clean and good. Have your teachers check it. Have your teachers listen to it and you should be completely fine. And another thing on a similar note is that the music portfolio or audition or music supplement is graded by each like by the professor at each school, which is why I recommended you to take lessons from the professors at each school. 
and it's usually graded like on a scale of, like one to six for example at stanford one being the best and six being the worst so like if you get like i said if you get anything between like a three or a four it won't help your application too much but also it won't hurt so like it's always worth a shot if you get a one um i actually looked at my stanford f admissions file and i found out that i got a one on my arts portfolio a one basically means that the saxophone professor or the music professor who listened to your audition really wants you at this school and they're recommending the admissions office to let you into the school to accept you just so the music program may have you so this is why i really like tell people to submit their application with a music audition because for the most part it can only help you so yeah that's about all i have to say about applying to music schools and submitting music supplements to colleges overall just make sure you do a lot of research and organize it on a google doc on each school specific requirements and try to film your portfolio so that you can submit the same videos to each school kill three birds with one stone however the saying goes and make sure you start preparing early the earlier the better so yeah if you have any questions feel free to let me know or sign up for one of my tutoring sessions and i hope you've enjoyed this class let me know if you have any questions